Bola, you don't know how it feels. I poured my heart and soul into the project. I had several sleepless nights before I could crack the code that fixed the software algorithm. For someone to just swoop in and take credit after all the toil and sweat that I've put in is beyond comprehension. That was a statement from a friend lamenting how his manager took credit for his hard work. Have you ever experienced this type of situation in your career? Hi, this is Bola Halabi. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Career Evangelist Podcast. Let's dive into the all too common scenario of someone else taking credit for your hard work. If this happened to you, what would you do? Punch them in the face? No, let's explore how to handle it professionally and with class. Few things are as frustrating in the workplace as seeing someone else take credit for something that you worked really hard to accomplish. People don't like that. Whether it's a colleague, a manager, or even a client, having your contribution go unnoticed, unrecognized, can feel demoralizing and unfair, and justifiably so. But how you handle this situation can make all the difference not just for your reputation, but for your future opportunities. In this episode, we are going to explore practical strategies for reclaiming your credit, your ad and credit with grace and professionalism while maintaining your integrity and advancing your career. Are you ready for it? Let's get it rolling. Now, when it comes to someone taking credit for your hard work, it is, it is painful, it can be devastating. Let's address the elephant in the room. The person that took credit for your work, it's a reflection on their personality, on their attitude more than you. It reflects poorly on their character. It shows a total lack of judgment and it's not professional for somebody to take credit for what they did not do. It ought because you work hard and you deserve the credit for your hard work. You used your brain power. Someone else should not get the accolades, the commendation for what belongs to you. It's like stealing your intellectual property. In some cases, they may even get promotion that they don't really deserve. This situation must be addressed promptly and professionally, because if not, it can make you feel undervalued. It can make you become frustrated and even angry. And there's a long-term negative consequence to letting people take credit for what they did not do. It can cause other people to lose their self-esteem. It can demoralize them. It can lead to less job satisfaction. That's job dissatisfaction. And it can damage the reputation of that organization. Now, if properly addressed, it can promote team spirit. It can increase collaboration among the team. And it can even boost productivity and help, and it can enhance creativity. So in your organization, if there's any situation or any case where somebody that did not contribute to a fit, to an accomplishment, if you find them swooping in to take credit, you have to address it. But before we talk about how to address it, let's try to understand why it happens, right? Now, 
when it comes to taking credit, it can be unintentional sometimes. It's not everyone that takes credit that I will say are doing it deliberately or to cheat other people. Let's say you're, you are a supervisor or maybe a project manager. I love using project managers. It is your duty to ensure that engineers, for example, they completed a design. Now, if they get this, the design completed, who we'll gets the credit? How do you report that the design has been completed? Do you just say, oh, I completed the design? No, if you did that, you are taking credit for what you did not do. How should you report it? You can say, ensured that the engineering team completed the design work on time or you can use the word facilitated or collaborated or managed or led but the actual task you did not do that someone else did that you can you participated thumbs up you facilitated thumbs up that's your scope and you did your job. People coming in to take other people's credit, or oh, it's not desirable. It shows lack of professionalism. Now, if someone takes credit for your for your hard work, don't just go in and hit them in the face. How should you handle it? You need to stay calm and reflect. Before reacting, take time to assess whether the credit theft was intentional or unintentional. Acting out of anger can backfire and it shows lack of maturity. I want you to go in with integrity. I want you to show that you are a professional. And how should you do that? You should stay calm and reflect. You should ask questions. But before you do that, let's gauge the impact. How significant is this situation? Some situations, they are not just what it's fighting for. So ask yourself, is this worth addressing or can, it, can you just let it go? You should evaluate that. If it's worth fighting for, if you worked hard, if it's something that maybe with little greater opportunities down the line yes you should show and let everyone know that your contribution in that particular task and now let's consider the person intention is this a one-time occurrence or has there been like a recurring pattern maybe this person is a selfish self-centered thief or is it just an innocent mistake? You need to reflect on all these things before you address it. Now, if you have made up your mind or based on your conversation with a person, you realize that this person deliberately, intentionally took credit for your work. You need to reclaim it back, okay? We've determined that this is worth addressing. How should you reclaim it back? I always recommend that you should start with a private conversation. Address the issue directly with a person in private, non-confrontational manner. Use language like, I noticed that during the meeting, the contribution that I made were attributed to you. Can you please clarify what's going on? I did that, but you were mentioning that you did that. Ask that question. And from their response, you'll be able to know the next step to take. You should always seek clarification. Okay? And in some cases, let's say they are talking in a meeting, you can also raise your hand and talk. You can respond with something like, oh, I'm glad the project went well. As you all know, I led the development of the report. That's you chipping in and stating your contribution. Now, let's say this fellow, after trying to seek clarification, they are still adamant. They are still claiming that they, they did the work, 
Meanwhile, you are completely sure that you did the work. You should escalate to leadership. Because if these things are not addressed, it's going to continue. And it's always good to nip situations like this in the board before they escalate and become something bigger. You work hard, you should get credit for your hard work. Escalate to leadership. Talk to your manager. Uh, that's the first person to talk to. And in my friend's case, if it was your manager that stole credit for your hard work, and if you addressed it to him and he's not um, doing anything or he's still adamant that he did the work, you can talk to your HR manager. Now, we need to prevent this going forward, right? We've addressed the situation and uh, we've reported the situation to the right authority. Now, let's make sure that this situation does not repeat itself. And I'm going to talk about strategies to prevent future credit theft. The first thing is that you have to be vocal about your contribution. You shouldn't wait for someone else to take credit for your hard work. Speak up about your accomplishment in meetings and report without being boastful. Yes, where you need to toot your own horn. Let's say you accomplish something. Write an email. Boast about yourself. It's okay. Let people know that you are contributing to the organization. So if everyone knows before someone else stepped in to take credit, then there is no issue. The other thing you can do is to always make sure that you document your work. I'll encourage you to keep clear record of your contributions, whether through emails or project logs or status reports, so that you are always leaving paper trails about your work. At least if you keep all this uh, record, no one will come in and say, oh, I did that, because the record will show that indeed you are the one that did the work. And always, uh, the third point, I'll say you should ensure that you build good support network. Cultivate relationship with colleagues, um, mentors who are aware of your contributions and they can advocate for you when necessary. Because if they know that you did certain work, if someone else uh, swooped in and took credit, they will be able to speak for you. Now, how do you handle persistent credit tips? You should uh, involve leadership. That's what I'll just say. If direct confrontation doesn't work, you should seek help from your HR manager, talk to them, report the situation, escalate whenever possible, and make sure that this situation is being addressed. Now, I have a real life story that I want to share and uh, I want to hear from you, uh, your thoughts. Let's say, here's a scenario. You are the manager of the cybersecurity team in your organization. There has been a massive breach of a customer network. All their networks and servers are down. The customer is losing hundreds of thousands of dollars as the hours go by. Your company has been contacted to quickly restore the server back online. As the leader of the team, you pick your team. Yes, that's your responsibility. You pick the people to support this customer. You give the task, you explain the urgency of the situation, and Voila, work starts from there. After several hours, a team member discovered that the customer has suffered a ransomware cyber attack. They were able to recover the system and restore the customer system back online. In this situation, who did the work? You, as a cybersecurity manager, you can proudly state that you led the team that resolved 
the issue. But you can't say, I found the issue or you personally resolved the issue. There are always situations in organization where you have that bloodlines. And in those situations, to keep your integrity, you can use words like collaborated, participated, or led. You get credit for those aspects and nothing more. And that's the way it should be. You shouldn't claim credit for what you did not do. And when you see people taking credit for your work, my suggestion, my recommendation is that you should address it immediately. Don't let it in linger on for too long. Don't let it persist because if you do, it will keep happening over and over again and it will lead to frustration on your own part. Now, as we wrap to this episode, dealing with someone taking credit for your work is never an easy thing to do, but it's an opportunity to showcase your professionalism and assertiveness. How you respond in these situations not only impacts your current role, but it can also set the tone for your future career. You need to stay calm, you need to address the issue head on, and you need to ensure that you are always advocating for yourself, for your hard work, for your accomplishment. So again, here's another challenge for you. If someone has recently taken credit for your work, take a deep breath and start planning your response. Use the strategies that we've discussed today and take control of the narrative. If this episode gave you the tool to handle the workplace challenges, make sure you subscribe to this podcast and also please share it with your network because with you, we can continue to grow and we can continue to help people grow in their career. Leave a review to let others know how we are helping you to grow in your career. Together, we are going to continue to navigate this tough situation and make sure your work gets the recognition that it deserves. Until next time again, keep pushing forward, stay confident in yourself, in your ability, and always stand up for your work. Till next time, this is Bola Halabi, the career evangelist, signing out.